message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say any more in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon.
lure here by the distress beacon. Right behind you, Shepard. Looks like these men were under Admiral Kahoku's command. He'd want to know what happened here. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. 
And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. <laughs> you still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I had planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news.
Commander Shepard, Khalees had been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Commander Shepard, could- Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the Crime Syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. 
I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. <laughs>